Right then, uh, just got to Corinthian Casual. Uh, I've met up with Billy, Titch and Jack, Casual's fans. Uh, we're sat in the stand. But uh, for, first of all, uh, welcome to get into the game, boys. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Uh, so what I'll do is I've got a couple of questions for you. Uh, so why Corinthian Casuals? First and foremost, it's a local team to us all. It's always been part of our community. And then obviously, once you get down and realise the history, you just fall in love with the club. There's everything to this club is just amazing yeah yeah okay same with you guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. only conquers of him <laughs> <laughs> just dragged you down here one day and then you've never then never escaped ever, then i've just come ever since really how, how long have you been coming down well i've been coming down with my dad since about 2011 2012 and then past three seasons when i started really properly started coming down every Can't game home and away sort of gets into your life yeah, it's a bit of a more into bug, it. Isn't it? yeah yeah no, get, a lot of people get the same sort of things. Um, you guys, do you support other clubs as well? Like, uh, have you got a league team? Well, Did we you all start support Chelsea yeah, here as well. Chelsea, yeah. it's a bit of a Chelsea territory yeah, around there. Yeah, but I've more or less given up Chelsea and more focused on casuals now. Yeah, it's the way that uh, modern football's uh, sort There's of changed. There's more passion quite a lot. here than you'd ever get in Premier League. So you don't, you've completely stopped play, uh, stop uh, supporting Chelsea completely. Well, I'll still watch their games, but on, uh, ma- the mainly on television and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I'd rather come but, watch Corinthian Casuals than watch Chelsea now. Okay. All right. So, um, so you, you you just said uh, you started coming with your dad. What about you guys? I started How, coming with you him. You just started coming with him. Yeah. I started coming with really? Casuals my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 19. I've been coming here for 19 years. Oh really? Yeah. Talk- did you get bought into it by your dad or yeah so like we used to live around the corner yeah. and um obviously i think my dad started coming before a little bit before i was born and then uh since then as soon as i was born i've been down here in the buggy with beers underneath and then, uh, <laughs> now i'm standing the with beer in my hand so uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay so um so what sort of your match day routine? I know Billy, you sort of help out with uh, yeah. with the ground staff yeah. and stuff, don't you? Yeah, so I get down here around about 11ish, 12 o'clockish, and uh, just help out day to day with the pitch, basically. So I probably see myself as more of a more of an apprentice, but um, obviously the other boys like Dan. And so you're sort of Dan's Dan's uh, little apprentice. Basically, yeah, I'm just starting off, so. Not quite as trained as them yet, but yeah. <laughs> getting there, getting there. And what about you guys, uh, Titch, Jack? No. What's what's the, what's the sort of routine? I don't Just think get... you want to know the routine. <laughs> to be honest, like you don't really Just... want to know the routine. So you just get depends in. if it's a if it's a away game. We all meet up early at a pub. Go for some breakfast. Go for some breakfast. Yeah. Sink some... a few lagers. Yeah. Lovely. So do you go to do you go to a lot of the away games? Every, oh, plenty of every them. Game. Every game. We go to every game. Every single game. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Unless so I'm working, but unless yeah, you work more or less every yeah, game yeah, if yeah. I can. Do you feel like uh, is it a bit easier for the away games because obviously. Whereas if you were supporting Chelsea or something, you could have Newcastle or have Sunderland, Southampton, you're going all over the show. Whereas no, here it's really. a, little, still go anyway. a little bit more regional. Still, still go anyway, yeah. It's the, the passion spending, for the club. What's the point of spending 80 quid on a ticket when you can come down here? For a tenner. Yeah. You stab it on the goal, you can, if you smoke, you can smoke. If you want to have a beer, you can have a beer behind the goal. It's totally up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just what makes our special. Like, I think we're the only team round here that's not named after a place yeah so exactly Yeah. you could be Arsenal Chelsea United Liverpool you can support us it don't matter yeah because it's not, uh, not like named a, after a place yeah that's okay. it Oh, right, okay. Worldwide team to be do, you, do you feel? Uh, yeah, that sort of brings me on to the next thing. Do you feel like there's that? Because uh, obviously the history of the club that you have got the the Brazilian connection, all that sort of thing. Is that quite a big thing for you guys? Yeah, of course. So yeah, just, we get enough Brazilians come here. Really? Yeah. A lot of Brazilians lot, come down, that coming like, out of their way to the come game. see our little club. Just to one game. Just to a game, like, and then they'll say, the oh, next day we we'll go home." Like some wow. people come just for a game and then go home. You see people being it, like, it means the world to them. Like you yeah. see how much they love it. Like sometimes they even bring groups down. I remember one uh, game. It was the final game of the season. It was a nil-nil game. But uh, I remember about 20, 30 then just all showed up. Yeah. Really? And all of us behind the goal just doing the boing boing. It was brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It's happened numerous times where even just one one person on his own will come over and you'll see the pitch and he'll start crying. No, you'll really. Be like, you'll yeah. be like. Wow, and then they'll say to you like, "Oh, can I go on the pitch?" You'll be like, "Yeah, go for it." They'll get down and start kissing the grass and that. <laughs> so, <laughs> the passion behind the Brazilians for the football is amazing. mental. Yeah. You see yeah. the stats online. Like, yeah, like, no. I've got the most Twitter followers or like the most most like Facebook followers in like non league. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Like, we're up there with like Leeds, I think. <laughs> amazing, yeah. amazing. So um, 
I, I follow non-league football quite a lot as well, and um, I don't know. You guys might have this. Um, you might have this happen to you quite often. So when you meet new people. Uh, and they say, oh, who do you support? And you say, I support Corinthian Casual. So they say, who? Straight away. Oh, do you get that a lot? Do you get that a lot? get that a lot. More or less you get that. But um, now due to the documentary that just came out on BT Sport, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people no, are sort of clocking on and saying, oh, right, okay. But then it's more where they say, oh, whereabouts are you now? Uh, a lot of people say Surbiton or Chesham, but well, we're told Tolworth. Tolworth, yeah. Tolworth. So do you, do you find yourselves, um, as soon as they do say... Oh, creepy guys. Do you find yourself then having to tell the story all the time? Do you yeah, get that? Oh, Do you get that quite time a lot? The oh, of times. we did this and oh, and the Brazilian thing and oh, and I this love, and that. I love talking to a Man United fan about Corinthian casuals. <laughs> yeah. Because you go to them, what's your biggest ever league defeat? And they'll be like, oh, I don't know. And then, well, let me enlighten you, mate. Is it 11, 11, 11 3. 3? Yeah, yeah no, no, I, I, did, uh, I did read up on that. So, um, just been joined by Dan as well. Hi, mate. All right. So, yeah, as the players coming onto the pitch, um, one thing I wanted to ask you, ask you was, because the players don't get paid and, uh, and all that sort of thing, do you feel like there's a bit of a, more of a connection between you guys? And there's a massive connection between us. As, yeah, as, as opposed to, obviously, a ma- there's a, it, it, the Premier League and all that sort of stuff, there's no connection at all. And then the, the, the lower you go down, maybe in the conference there's a little bit and stuff, but because this is completely... You're all volunteers. You guys do the pitch. They play on the pitch, etc., etc. Do you feel like that's a big connection? No, but no. Basically, like the teams, um, like Kingstonians, for yeah. example, their yeah. strikers will be on six hundred pound a week, Scum. really, and their defender will be on fifty quid a week, and he and he won't even like. Do you know what I mean? And when you when someone's on that much more money, than you, so there's, there's a difference in the change of rooms yeah, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you yeah. ask our players, they'll tell you because they're all on the same money, which is nothing. Zero. There's yeah. no egos because they're all on the same thing. But if you had someone who was on six hundred. And someone who's got 50, 50 quid, you'd be annoyed. Going, oh, do you know what I mean? They're yeah, the one. Yeah, no, completely. Uh, what makes us special from the management to the, to the physio to the players to even the groundsmen, we all do it for free. Yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. the only thing the players get out of out of a match day is a strawberry Yazoo milkshake after the game. <laughs> 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 hey, this is not even lying either. Hey, he brings the pack. Good, Johnny! That's the uh, head groundsman there. He's the goalkeeping coach, kit man, uh, and the uh, groundsman. Wow. Okay, so he's he's doing he's doing his bit. So I was watching the documentary uh, this week, and there was a part uh, where it's, it looked as if the club was struggling money-wise. Yeah. Is that still a case or? Uh, of course. No, I don't think. It, no, 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 we're we're always always struggle. Struggle. We're Obviously, all struggling. non-league clubs are always going to struggle yeah, yeah. forever. That's just how, how it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, see on the shirts that were sponsored by BT Sports, mm-hmm. which is a massive sponsorship like, uh, to get them on board. Especially because yeah. we ground share with Kingstonian now as well, so they pump they some money into us as well. They've got to pay for the privilege. Yeah. Yes, of course. Busy. Might even bump up so right now. We stay. <laughs> See, we're looking around. Um, it seems like there's a lot of sponsorship boards. Like you go to some league, non-league clubs, and they're just barren, aren't they? they, they yeah. Well, to be fair, some of these probably haven't been paid for ten years, but they keep them up because <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this season's going really, really well. Um, only a couple of wins off the playoffs. Mm. Uh, do you think it's, uh, it's, it's realistic? Well, think no doubt about it. No doubt about it. We have faith in our in our players and our management. Like, in our opinion, we all, you ask anyone around this place now, we'll say that James Brack is the best manager in the league by far. Yeah, definitely. Well, he's got no money. Um, no money, and we're above, yeah. we're above teams such as, I don't know, Mar- you say Margate, 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 and that's the start to the season. Yeah. Yeah. Five nil down at half time. Yeah, World Cup destroyed our players. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was out on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. James, we trust. Who's yeah. still fat now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what are the expectations uh, for the season? All we get at, begi- at, begin- at the beginning of the season. Up. Was it just up. staying up? And yeah, now, I'm sort of daring up. to dream yeah. a little bit? Yeah, well, before we oh, even we're always there to, we always dare to dream. <laughs> it's just like when we brought James in, his first interview with the chairman, to say, like, obviously, he wanted to come to the club. Chairman said, "Oh, right, your target is keep us up." James went, "No, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get you promoted." So James in three seasons. What his first season, we got points deducted and we got kicked out of the playoffs. Oh. Second season, playoff final, lost to Dorking, penalty shootout. They're another club with uh, a lot of money. Oh, yeah. of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. You, you, know, uh, you know when they do like um, manager of fans at Premier League clubs? Yeah. Like, uh, they're doing it now at Dorking, which is the same league as this. They have the chairman, the sponsors, the manager, who's the owner as well, actually. 
in front of an audience, taking in questions, they're sitting on stalls, taking in questions <laughs> at the club and that, and they're answering it. And uh, it was on Twitter. And like they, a fans forum, yeah, open forum thing. Like, yeah, they got ripped to shreds on Twitter. Oh, really? I, didn't, I haven't seen it. I'll have, yeah, it, I'll have, have a little look. Some of the comments are hilarious. <laughs> so, so, so for the rest of this season, you think... Uh, just, just aim just to stay up first, first and oh, foremost. No, I think we've done well, that. We've, we've done that already. Thought we could hold our own in the league. Anyway. Okay, but we, uh, one last question. So, what are your hopes for the future? Not just, not just this season. Um, do you think you can progress one more level, two first more rounds. levels? First, first round of the FA Cup. Yeah, Third round. round of the FA yeah, Cup. No, away to Old Tra- yeah. away at Old Trafford. Just getting to the first proper round of the FA Cup. It would be massive and getting a massive team like. Nice league you one have someone like yeah. 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 yeah, do it for free and we went up last season. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so next season, uh, a good cut run, first round of the FA Cup, home, 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 to, home to Pompey, home to Pompey, something like that. No, yeah, away, away to Pompey, Pompey away would be the best. Right, yeah. Whatever yeah. game it is, we'll Sunderland, be on TV. Sunderland away to Sunderland, Sunderland yeah. Sunderland. yeah. Sunderland. No, I'll take any game because we're going to be on TV no matter what. Yeah. It's the club, it's the club. Oh, well, yeah. obviously BT will we pick can, it with that. We can play the team well, there, we'll BT Sport. Right, boys, well, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, casual. The casual.